Yeah. Welcome back, guys. How you doing? My name is Tianjin McGee, and it's my channel, Living Life After a Spinal Cord Injury. Today, I'm going to speak about driving with a hand control, which is mine is portable. Some vehicles come with a permanent hand control, but mine is a portable. It's made by Quick Stick. I brought it online. I think it was about $179, $180. Probably give or take about $185 after shipping a hand in fleas. But I want to show you how I drive with it and also how it operates. So if you look at it, it's a two-piece rod that's connected from two separate poles, but it's one unit that you use to drive. So if you push down on the black bar, this bar here, this is the brake. And if you look up here, this is your gas, the silver circle. So you just push down on this. And if you look at the bottom, when I push the black bar for the brake, you see it goes in. And then the gas with the silver circle, this button here, is the gas when I push it, it puts it down on the gas. So it splits to one unit. Let's show you how I drive and operate the vehicle. Let me get my laser real quick and get myself situated. Don't forget your seatbelt. So like I said in my previous channel, my legs are kind of contracted, which means my muscle is tight, so my legs aren't as flexible as they should be. But that's on me from getting complacent. <laughs> so with it, if you realize, my right leg kind of leans into the bar. So if your legs aren't contracted, you will have your legs straight out or crossed however you prefer. And you won't have as much pressure onto the bar. But since I have the pressure, I use my hand control. I lean up against my drive stick area so if you notice like it rests up here so it reduces the amount of pressure I got to use to hold it so when you drive along distances you'll know after a while you'll feel that strain on your wrist and your arm will burn so to reduce that I rest it up here to save me the using the extra strength to drive because you know at the end of the day you still got to transfer out the vehicle as well as push yourself to wherever you're going when you get to your destination so I push in on the brake I hold the brake down I grab my lever switch I hit shift to drive and that's it then you're off so most people would think while driving with a, well, a portable hand control that they think you know like oh it's not as the same as driving as regular it's the same concept the only thing is that you gotta adjust to using the brake and the gas for me personally I feel like the only hard part that wasn't really hard but that took a little bit of adjustment was adjusting to braking because the brake when you brake it reacts a lot quicker than it does when you're using your foot to brake so you have to get just to that feeling and find the kind of your sweet spot of how much pressure you need to apply while braking but other than that it's the same way you drive the same way you signal and steer everything's the same concept the only thing i normally suggest to people when i speak to other people that's in spinal country who's looking at driving is you got to adjust and get used to using the arm strength because people don't realize if you're driving short distances it might not really affect you as much but driving over a period of time when you're going long distances if you don't have the arm strength your arm will give out and get tired and that's kind of a bad thing especially if you're in the vehicle by yourself for safety reasons so i say take yourself a few times around the block or wherever you live at and drive locally for a while to build up the endurance and then by all means and drive further out and push out from there but driving all in all is the same right now I'm making the left turn going home so I'm going to drive up a hill and show you that as well as going uphill it's the same concept as driving when you drive with your feet but I hope all of you who's in the same predicament and you know who are paraplegics or quad however whatever your diagnosis is you know, when you get that sense of independence to drive, you know, it's like one step further of also feeling back as your normal self. Even though you went through, a, you know, a catastrophic injury, you still get to feel some type of that you're still yourself because now you get to drive, you know, get where you want to go on your own without having anybody else to depend on. Because I know for me, when I first had my injury, coming out of the hospital and, then, you know, you got to depend on private companies and agencies to get you around. And then sometimes, you know, they show up when they want and all those type of things. So the fact that, you know, you can get in your own vehicle and take off and go wherever you want with no problem. I love that factor. 
But thank you very much for tuning into my channel. I wish you all the best. Like I always say, keep pushing, keep striving, and push for success. Thank you. Subscribe if you get the chance. Have a good day.